New starting time for the Norman Bank's open line. Nine o'clock weekday mornings. Two hours of conversation, comment and controversy. The Norman Bank's open line, nine o'clock Monday to Friday on 3AW. Norman Banks was a former used car salesman and onion grower who became a giant of Melbourne radio, pioneering football broadcasts and talkback. He worked from morning to night for more than half a century, first at 3KZ, then at 3AW, producing and presenting everything from music programs to quiz shows. In the mid-1960s, Banks was attracting one quarter of Melbourne's morning and early afternoon radio audience. He didn't suffer fools gladly. He was famous for that. And a woman rang up one, one day and, and told him, uh, oh, Mr Banks, you know, the, the things are terrible in my life. My husband's left me and the dog's died. I'm going to kill myself. And Norman said, no, madam, no, you're not. You are going to kill yourself. Banks was also, with the help of offsider Billy Jacobs, one of the city's more colourful football callers. They were flying by helicopter to cover a game from VFL Park, Waverley. I don't know whether it was the first game or not, or whether they traditionally travelled by helicopter when they went to Waverley. But towards the end of his football calling career, Billy was telling me that Norman's eyesight wasn't particularly good. And they flew out there and they're hovering over VFL Park and Billy says, ah, um, uh, we're here. At which stage Norman reaches for the door to open the door to get out, without <laughs> realising they weren't in fact on the ground yet. In 1938, Banks founded one of Melbourne's enduring institutions, Carols by Candlelight.